Uh, leading Queensland scientist is on a mission. He wants us to treat our phones like a third hand and clean them more often. That's because they're utterly disgusting. Samples from the phones of 20 doctors revealed more than 2,000 microbes, including bacteria, fungi and even viruses. It turns out saliva and battery heat make them the perfect breeding ground oh. for germs. And Bond University researcher Dr Lottie Tajuri is here to dish the dirt on our phones. Dr Tajuri, are you trying to tell me that the thing that I always bring into the toilet with me oh. might not be super <laughs> clean? <laughs> Uh, it's definitely not clean, I can tell you that. Um, oh. The mobile phones are actually uh, mobile petri dishes, so it's not a good sign. No. Well, mobile science sounds great. Um, what would you say <laughs> is the nastiest thing you found on these phones? Uh, look, probably uh, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, people actually use mobile phones in the toilet, so you will not be surprised mm -hmm. that we found a lot of faecal-derived oh. bacteria. And uh, oh. to give you some name, uh, E. coli, even Salmonella, Campylobacter. If you have, for example, a food handler uh, who is going to give you a sushi and just before has been touching her or his phone, and basically two minutes ago the person was in the toilet, you can understand the equation here. So good luck. I thought I ordered a brown rice roll. Anyway, <laughs> can we, how often do you clean your phone? I actually clean mine uh, five times a day. Uh, as I said, I'm not using my mobile phone in the toilet. I actually use a kind of Kim wipe with a little bit of ethanol and wipe it off. But you have to be careful because if you do that kind of ra um, harshly, let's say, you are going to damage your mobile phone. Doesn't it help boost our immunity just to have a few germs around? Well, there, there are plenty, of course. We are definitely surrounded. But guess what? You are going to be bombarded, literally speaking, by microorganisms. But the problem with mobile phones is that they actually act, as I said, like a petri dish. Why? Well, when I talk over my mobile phone, I spit out some saliva. What does it mean? I provide moisture to the microorganisms to thrive. Secondly, I am sure some one of you guys have been eating with your mobile phone this morning. If you have it in your egg benedict, guess what? You have actually <laughs> deposited a bit of eggs on your mobile phone, guess what? It's a free buffet for those microorganisms. What does it mean? They're very happy to multiply breed. Thirdly, if you have your mobile phone in your pocket, or if you have your mobile phone in your bag, or if you switch them on, you have here temperature control. Three conditions that allow mobile phones to be a five-star accommodation hotel for those microbes. And also, the big problem is of behavior. If you go oh. to the loo and basically you contaminate your mobile phone with fecal-based uh, bacteria, well, you will not be surprised that that is an issue. And actually, I'll give you another point. If you take the travelers that come to Australia uh, every year, it's roughly 10 million individuals. Our research, when we did uh, swab mobile phones in that international conference, we found 2,204 microorganisms. You multiply that by 10 million individuals that come to our shore, it is roughly speaking more than 180 million microorganisms. That is a biosecurity concern. Dr Lottie, it's been a fascinating conversation. If you were here, I'd shake your hand personally. Mm. Appreciate oh, no, your maybe time. just do the elbow thing. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's probably right. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome.